this chapter, we will have some small example, which is multiple activity example. So the, best, the idea is to build an application with multiple activities in order to understand how the things work. So this is a simple app, which is a beer app. You can be authorized to drink or not authorized to drink. This is not that. This is a small example. OK. So we have three activities. The first one, the yellow screen, which displays the splash screen of your activity. Then we'll describe, we will have a screen for the inscription. This inscription will ask you, what is your age? And some other information we don't care. And according to your age, you will be able to drink or not. OK? So three activities, main activities, the yellow one, inscription activities, the fields, and the click button, and result activities, we will display only a text. So here we can see that we use the same activity for two screens. So we will have to fix the text inside of your screen according to some, uh, some value. So first, let's define an XML file to define the static values of our application. So the first thing we have to do is the name of your application, here, BHAP, and some other constant here, inscription, name, first name, age, submit, and so on. So grouping all these values, these static values, inside of a unique file allows you to regroup all these static values and to not have magic numbers inside of your application. So the resource class will provide you some identifier to access directly the different fields inside of this file. So if you want to display the name of your application, you just have to, to write r.id.appName. And this is it. So now that we have defined the different um, static values of our application, uh, we may want to adapt our application according to some country, because you can drink beer in France earlier than in the US. OK? So here, for instance, we decided to build a French application. And to do that, we copy our file and replace the different names. And this file is in the res value fr directory. So this is the copy. And according to the local of your phone, the application will choose the good one. So you just have to fix the local inside of preference settings and so on. And it will display a different application. Since your code doesn't use magic numbers, it will only target the good field according to your local. OK? So this is why. I have a beer appli here. So now we can build the first view. The first view is quite simple. We have a linear layout where elements are positioned vertically. We have a text view. And we have a button. So here is the linear layout. And we can he see here that I position the orientation of this layout to vertical. And I also fix the sum of the different elements. The sum of the different elements will define the ratio between the different elements inside of your, um, your view. So now we can continue this uh, GUI. And we can observe that we have a text view. And we have a button. And now we can define the second, the second interface, with each, which is composed of a linear layout, a text view, three edit text, and a button. So this is a linear layout. And inside of this layout, we define the text view. We can observe that we have a white for this layout, which defines the size of this element according to the other one. And we have the other elements. OK? Finally, we need 
a final screen to display can you drink or can you can't you drink and to do that I define only a layout which which is composed of a text view okay so in this text view I will not fix uh, text already I'll fix this later okay so this will be runtime initialization so now let's define the main activity the first screen activity so we can observe that this activity extend activity since all activity have to extend activity and implements on click listener the goal of this on click listener will be to trigger the click on the buttons to perform some action here the action will be to switch activities okay so we have the on create method the goal of this on create method is only to set up the GUI line set content view and then we have a button which is I, I get the the identifier for my view and I set the click listener for this button and then I have a non-click method to to override and in this method I create a new intent saying the context of this application is me that is and I want to run inscription activity uh, activity okay then I start activity so now I have to define the second activity which is the inscription activity so the, re the registration form activity must capture the age field but we don't care about the other fields so we will only grab this value to perform some action so we can observe that the onCreate method is quite similar why? because we have only one button so the only difference is no, that we specify that we want to find view r.id that but button submit and we want to add a listener to this button which is this and this implements view.onClickListener and when we click on this button we will build a new activity with, co with context this me and with, with target result activity and we have to position extra information inside of this intent for instance the age of the user and we get the age through age.getText.toString and then we can start the activity and finally we have a last screen which is the display result we have to adapt the, the result according to the age of the user so there is only the onCreate uh, method which is used here we can observe that set content view only fix the layout age will grab the age according to the field age inside of the intent and according to this age we can fix the display display is only the text view and to r.string.cowdrink or r.string.okdrink which is the, uh, the value I defined earlier okay we can think that this is it but we are wrong because we didn't fix the android manifest.xml now we fix the android manifest.xml we can see that we have one two three activities the first activity is main activities is composed of an intent filter I will talk of this later but the idea is these three lines only define um, activities that can be launch special activity first screen activity if you want and then we can define our two activities and this is it we can observe that this application is not robust because you can just pre press the back button change your age and now you can drink but it's okay okay so here you can see an end-to-end -end application 
with free activities, with the use of intent, with the use of clicks and the grab of user interaction. And you can now position parameters inside of intents and exchange intents in between activities. And you also are able now to define your own application based on the locale of your phone.